I must have known because I said we've all met exceptions, but how many really m remind us of ghetto-born truants? Our exceptions don't make us great. The opportunity for everyone would. That's when Hammer's face twisted, meaning he dealt with my kind, abusing his time before. In fact, I'm sure having his ethics question was second skin to him. The way his hand reached out for my patience to allow him to speak. Then how he stepped to the door nodding he was going out. I followed so he tried to stiff arm me, which wasn't so necessary but my cue to shut the door and, door and lure him back. I said, best closed. I might be angry, Dr. Hammer. He said, I just tried to help. Now you involve me in your derangement? I said, I said, ah, the business ploy of confusing confidence with intelligence. He kept the door's guardianship by keeping his hand on the knob, gaping me up and down. Evidently, considering me ineffectual but lucky to have touched some nerve, he again contrived a little friendliness toward his charity case, saying, I, don't un I understand confined to a hospital is no picnic. He enjoyed hearing Dr. Hammer, so I repeated it. Leaving for an elite club, Dr. Hammer? No, he said. I was meeting friends. But now, but now home to sleep seems better. It's late. I'm not young anymore, young man. Goodbye. I scowled. Greenwich, Greenwich Village Palace by downstairs limo? He opened the door and peeked into the corridor and waved his hand for me to be quiet, then whispered because he wasn't shutting it. There's a driver, but I let go of that man from your accident. He was hired for this trip. My chauffeur is always more, more cautious. I was never comfortable with him. Now I really should go call the people who are waiting. Then he paused as if to make sure I wouldn't follow while I waited with my arms crossed. And I guess as some sort of victim he felt obligated to care. He took two steps forward to back to behind the chair and with another wave said, Last chance. I hopped on the bed, pretending to be curious about the TV remote. I don't like being shifty and felt bad thinking I was. I said, hearing me out will cause you less, less difficulties than if you leave. Please sit. If you stand, I'm under a time limit. I know you're being nice to me, but I'd like no constraints. He said, okay, but kept standing on his own time. I said, how, how at fault was your guy, was, was your guy? Was he to blame? He said, I see. I said, you see? He said, of course, it's obvious. I said, yes, it is. The aggressive traffic system allows accidents to happen. I never hate the individual, though that person who ran the red light was obviously wrong. Our culture was naturally seduced by the car. Hey, but what if, but what if musicians had culturally led us listening to other impulses? What if the police saying don't run the red light instead of asking Roxanne not to put hers out? From Dr. Hammer's look of disgust, the middling joke fell, flew right past him. But instead, he said, not surprising you accommodate irresponsibility. Yeah, I said, realizing my mallet was heavy and used it anyway. I use a scale where what happens matters, Dr. Hammer. Our mistake wasn't an accident. It was a statistically acceptable tragedy. Our college entrance exam is not America's most important SAT test. Our most important is the fudge result that any amount of tragedy is satisfactory. Societal Russian roulette. Spin the cartridge. Hit the gas. Figures show not enough die to dispense with this collision nonsense. Don't bother wondering how many of your celebrity friends have been victims of the machine. Handling me conventionally, Hammer said, what has this to do with me? I said, you're an industrial statesman and player who's afforded to ig ignore overall improvement. A cog fueling the vast conspiracy that, that avoided logical space management by utilizing the train at moderate rates. Your error's mistake was making the train inconvenient.